George Henry Raymer was born on 27 March 1927 in Myersdale, Pennsylvania. He attended elementary school in Salisbury, PA, and graduated from Lewisburg High School in 1944. He enlisted in the U.S. Navy on 11 August and served until 5 June 1946. Upon his return to civilian life, he entered Bucknell University, where he was a member of the Phi Gamma Delta fraternity. He graduated in February 1950 with a bachelor's degree in political science and history. While attending college, he enrolled in the Marine Corps Reserve Platoon Leaders Program, completing summer training courses at Quantico, Virginia in 1947 and 1948. He was commissioned in the Marine Corps Reserve in 1950 and taught high school civics, history, and problems of democracy in Lewisburg, PA, before he was called to active duty at his own request on 3 January 1951. Completing the basic course at Quantico, Virginia on 11 April 1951, 2nd Lieutenant Raymer embarked the following month for Korea. Before his death, he saw action in the campaigns against the Chinese Communist Spring Offensive and in the United Nations Summer Fall Offensive. His citation reads as follows. The President of the United States takes pride in presenting the Medal of Honor posthumously to 2nd Lieutenant George H. Raymer, United States Marine Corps Reserve, for service as set forth in the following citation. For conspicuous gallantry and intrepidity at the risk of his life above and beyond the call of duty as leader of the 3rd Platoon in Company I, 3rd Battalion, 7th Marines, 1st Marine Division reinforced, in action against enemy aggressor forces in Korea on 12 September 1951. Ordered to attack and seize hostile positions atop a hill, vigorously defended by well-entrenched enemy forces, delivering mass small arms, mortar, and machine gun fire, 2nd Lieutenant Raymer fearlessly led his men on the steep slopes and, although he and the majority of his unit were wounded during the ascent, boldly continued to the spearhead and the assault. With the terrain becoming more precipitous near the summit and the climb more perilous as the hostile forces added grenades to the devastating hail of fire, he staunchly carried the attack to the top, personally annihilated one enemy bunker with grenade and carbine fire, and captured the objective with his remaining eight men. Unable to hold the position against an immediate, overwhelming hostile counterattack, he ordered his group to withdraw and single-handedly fought the enemy to furnish cover for his men and for the evacuation of three fatally wounded Marines. Severely wounded a second time, 2nd Lieutenant Raymer refused aid when his men returned to help him and, after ordering them to seek shelter, courageously manned his post until the hostile troops overran his position and he fell mortally wounded. His indomitable fighting spirit, inspiring leadership, an unselfish concern for others in the face of death reflect the highest credit upon 2nd Lieutenant Raymer and the United States Naval Service. He gallantly gave his life for his country. In addition to the Medal of Honor and the Purple Heart awarded for his fatal wounds, 2nd Lieutenant Raymer's decorations include the Korean Service Medal with two bronze stars and the United Nations Service Medal. His remains were returned to the United States in December 1951 and interred in Lewisburg Cemetery, Lewisburg, Pennsylvania. The Medal of Honor was presented to his widow on 7 January 1953 by Secretary of the Navy Daniel Kimball in Washington, D.C. Raymer Hall, dedicated to 2nd Lieutenant Raymer, is a combat conditioning facility at the Basic School Quantico, Virginia, which was opened in 1963. Until next time, stay salty devils, semper fi, and carry on.